Hey everybody, Joy here. I'm not sure I know what day it is, you guys. <laughs> I know it's Tuesday, and I think it's October 5. I think it's October 5, 2021. And we are still here at a KOA campground in Oklahoma City. It's a little windy today. I can see my awning is going flip-flop. But it's a beautiful sunny day and it's cool. Jerry is gone. I'm glad I didn't go with him. I debated whether I should or I shouldn't. Um, most of you know that Jerry and I own a commercial building here in Oklahoma City. We've owned it for years and years and years because we owned our own medical equipment business and we had to have a building. So we bought this building. So the people that bought our company rented it for three years. Their three years is up November 1. And they have decided that they are getting out of this building and getting out of our Kingston building. Um, this, this one, they'll be gone last day of October. It'll be come back to me and Jerry. And the one in um, Kingston will come back to us January 1. So, a cup, there's only four employees left. Only four employees left <laughs> out of 21. And I just was talking to them. I just had talked to uh, one of my dear employees, been with me 18 years. Um, and she was telling me some things that were going on and uh, how they're just throwing out desks, throwing out chairs, throwing out everything. So she said, if you want us to keep anything, Joy, tell me what it is and we'll be sure that it stays here. I said, I want the kitchen, leave the kitchen. I said, take all the food out of the kitchen, take all the food out of the fridge, clean the refrigerator. If they're my pots and pans, leave them. If it's my Tupperware, my set of dishes, leave that. Otherwise, take everything. And I said, I want one office with one complete desk. Jerry and I bought new furniture when we built that business. We bought really nice, big wood desk. And then you turned and it had this other little connector area and then you turned and there was this credenza behind it so it was a big u-shaped awesome desk i just loved working at it and jerry had one of the employees had one well they're just dumping them um telling the girls to take them to wherever uh the building in kingston they moved a giant dumpster next to it i said what are they putting in this dumpster we don't know we don't know oh, just unbelievable so anyhow, um, talked to Paula for about 30 minutes and I could have gone with Jerry, but I, I knew that I would have these feelings because, you know, years ago when I was 30, we built all of that and this is 40 years later. And so there's all those years of feelings and feelings and relationships and kids and grandkids and marriages and divorces and deaths and you know what I mean these, these people are like our family I'm closer to them than in my own family I'm very unclose to my own family unfortunately even more so now but um she said why didn't you come down here so we could see you I said well I will Jerry and I'll come and we'll take you girls out to lunch there's only two left and um we'll get together before you're gone before the end of October but yeah sad just sad they just destroyed our business paula was practically in tears she's because we used to have you know a store with two great big glass front doors and we were open all day and you could walk in the store and there was wheelchairs and there was hospital beds and there was um lockers and there were of course electric wheelchairs manual wheelchairs all kinds of wheelchairs there were canes there were all kinds of medical equipment that you use if you get injured you know little things you know you shampoo people's hair in and the support hose and the braces and just everything our showroom was beautiful seat lift chairs we had two three rows of seat lift chairs all lined up all different colors and people would walk in the front door and our cody the two that are still there cody and paula they knew these customers by name Cody would go out in the parking lot and help them out of their car and help them in the building. It, it was just, it was a family. And so it's really heartbreaking to see it all breaking up now. 
so that's where Jerry is. So because Jerry's gone, I'm getting to be all by myself today and work on this quilt. <laughs> it's called Safe Harbor. I don't know why I ever chose to make this quilt. <laughs> I do not like piecing. I like applique. Why, why did I pick a quilt that has to be pieced? Does anyone know? Ah, at least like this. This has little tiny itty bitty pieces. And the direction started out pretty good. But then it got so. The little units that you made had to be combined with other units that you made. And if I can find it, I will show you the pictures. This is the pictures of what the units look like. Do you see any colors in there? No colors. It's all black and white. I struggled and I struggled and I struggled to figure out, you know, you got a half square triangle. Does it go this way? Does it go this way? Does it go this way? I couldn't tell what the colors were in it. I was very upset. And then I would study this to try to find where that little bitty half square triangle was. And it didn't look the same. Well, I found out yesterday because I went to their website, WilmingtonPrints.com and looked up the picture of this quilt, picture of the quilt looks completely different than this one. It's much, much lighter, and you can much more easily tell the colors apart. So now if I can't figure out what goes where, I have to go online and look at the picture on their website. <laughs> anyway, I'm coming down the home stretch. I'll show you what I've got over here on the couch. Remember, we're calling this the baggy system. This is the Joy Bernhardt baggy system, how to make a quilt in an RV. <laughs> So let me show you what I've got. Here is the current condition of the baggie system. <laughs> I still have more baggies in the original case that I brought that I haven't had to use yet. So I have lined them up. Here's the ones. One A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I H that doesn't seem right. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Okay, we'll fix that. I only have two twos. I have a two C, and then in this bag, I have all the fours. I put them all together: four A B C D. So that's all the fours. That's the twos. There aren't any threes. I don't know why there's no threes. There's no fives, and there's no sixes. So then we jump over here to what's called units, I guess. And here we've got the sevens. Seven A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Then I've got two eights. I have an eight A and an eight B. I don't know why there's only two eights. Then they started calling them units. And the only unit I have is unit five. So how strange is that? If it wasn't for these baggies, and me separating these out like this, there is no way I could ever get this quilt put together. Because what you do is you may take a 1B and sew it on to a 2C and a 7H. You see? You may take an 8A and sew it on to a 2C or a 7E. It's, it's just, oh my gosh. I, I never, ever, 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 ever could have kept up with it without post-it notes and baggies. <laughs> I can tell you that. Now, here is my original box that I brought this whole quilt in, in the original baggies. So, I still have some left. There's a B. There's some A's. There's a F. There's a K. This is extras. This right here is all extra, so I know I'm not going to have to use it. But all of these are still pieces that have to be joined. And so I have got to get busy. This is the borders. This is the borders. Those are separate, too. We'll get those out of here. But all of these pieces in here still go into this quilt. Somehow, some way. <laughs> We are here at KOA Campground. People come and people go all day long. But it's a nice one. 
I bought a new tripod yesterday that has the big round light on it and it holds my camera because I have been using a roll of paper towels and a bottle of something on top of the roll of paper towels and then stack up something in front of the bottle and then put my phone on that. <laughs> it was not working well. <laughs> so I'm going to let you go for now, but I'll try to come back maybe by the end of the day, I'm not sure, um, to see if I have much more done, okay? We'll just put this on hold for right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make my final clip of the day. This is October 5, 2021, if I never did tell you that in this video. Whew. This quilt, I am telling you, sewing little tiny triangles together to little tiny squares and more triangles and more squares and oh my goodness and keeping track of which way to turn them and which way to put them together. It's not my favorite kind of quilting, but I do have three blocks done, three blocks. <laughs> There's eight of one of them and four of each of the others, I think. Four, four, and eight. So I've got block one, block two A, and block three A. Now, why, why don't they just say block one and two and three? What's with two A and three A? You know, to me, it's just, if you've got eight blocks across the top of your quilt, why don't you just number them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It makes no sense. So after many, many hours, <laughs> it's 2.40 right now. Jerry's been gone since 10 o'clock this morning. I have not seen him. I don't know when he's coming back. So I have had all these hours to sew today, but I need to walk, I need to exercise, I need to do something besides sit in a chair all day. You know, at home I have my stairs to go up and down 50 times a day, and my trampoline to jump on, and my little exerciser machine for your legs and your thighs. So I'm really missing that. I did do some jumping jacks this morning, <laughs> hoping the whole RV didn't cave in. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna turn on, I got a TV right behind you, and if I can figure out how to use it, I think I have to hook it up to my cell phone, to my hotspot, and I can get um, Fabulous 50s on. I've got some neighbors. I didn't have any neighbors all day. Well, now I've got some new neighbors, so I may have to close the windows. <laughs> I see I've got a spider visiting my window too. I just wanted to show you real quick how much I got done. <laughs> so here is, let me see, where does it start? It starts right here. This is the top left before borders. So this is block one, this is 2A, and this is 3A. This is just one, no A, B, C. One, 2A, 3A, makes no sense to me. So this is the beginning of the top row. I don't know how many more blocks are in it, but this is the first three. So I thought I would show that to you. It looks like absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, I sure hope I like this when I get it done. <laughs> for all the work that it is. I guess you can always use it for a, a tablecloth or a, or a rug or something, no matter how bad it turns out. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna let you go for today, but I miss you, miss you, miss you. I miss you so much. Leave me a comment. I need some comments. I really do. I need to read some comments from some really nice people that love to quilt and love to sew. So, gonna let you go for now. Um, for the rest of the day, I'll finish sewing uh, some more blocks, but I won't be able to show them to you. I won't be able to get this video up. And then it's put everything away, hook up the Jeep on the back, and get everything completely, totally ready. So we wake up in the morning, take a shower, eat our breakfast here in the RV, and then we head out of Dodge, even though we're not in Dodge. We're at a caveway campground in Oklahoma City. All right, my friends, I'll be back when I get some more of this quilt done. How about then? Bye for now.